Hey folks, how you doing? I thought I'd put this video together. I've got a video right now uploading. And this one's going to go up not long afterwards. But uh, they are kind of separate videos. One was tasting and this one's mixing. So, uh, But I did promise in that one that I'd make this in another video. So rather than make you wait, I'm going to go ahead and do it in this one. I'm going to make 30 mil of it. It's the orange spice. You've really got to try this. It's, uh, yeah, just... It's so strange that it would be good, but it is. I love trying freaky shit like that, but it, it works, and I re I like it. Might not be everyone's cup of tea, but it's uh, it's certainly mine. So um, we're going to go ahead and mix that one first. I'm not going to put the little camera and everything. I want some easy video editing the night. So all I've done recently is edit videos. Well, because I've been putting so many of them up. Still got some of these over here that I need to work on. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this uh, orange spice, and then I'm going to do a strawberry cheesecake. And you're probably thinking, oh God, strawberry cheesecake, really? Is that all you can come up with? Well, I haven't perfected it. Um, I put strawberry with cheesecake once, online, on video, and um, said, there you go, this is for beginners. There you go, you got a strawberry cheesecake. I don't know whatever happened to that. It's laying around here somewhere, sleeping. I don't know. Uh, but I want to put together something special, something uh, that just uh, goes that one step further. Um, it's actually going to be a strawberry cheesecake ice cream. Um, if you folks have got a Dairy Queen near you right now, they do those um, Royal Blizzards, and it's a New York cheesecake um, mixed, swirled into ice cream. And it's just got, oh man, it's so good. It's got these little chunks in it and bits of bits of strawberry and you've got ice cream and then you've got the cakey feel and it's my favorite. I love it. I could just eat that stuff over and over. Uh, as you can tell, I go to Dairy Queen a lot. I love ice cream. I'm a big ice cream fan. So I thought this would be a good one to do. It is a trial one, so who knows what it come out like. But the orange spice isn't, so we're gonna do orange spice right now. I, Got a very pathetic amount of nicotine left. Got more on the way. Should be here Monday, hopefully. But I'm going to have to stop mixing with nicotine in the future because I just waste it. Um, all those mixes that don't get used or don't get vaped up. But for me to vapor, for me to vapor mix, it's got to be just right. It's got to be up there above what I'm vaping at that moment, um, or somewhere damn close. For me to vape it um, i've got other ones like this right here dm strawberry it's steep it's got three milligrams in it i can vape this i can take this to work and vape it all day long i don't want to i've got stuff that tastes better so i need to get this better i need to get it up on that same level the orange spice is on that level it's um yeah it's one of those ones you just want to pick up because it's different than everything else you've got so i'm going to make one of those and i've already chatted four minutes of this video away which is great. I'm probably chatting another 20 minutes of it. But um, let's, let's go mixing. Okay, so we've got... We've got uh, TFA's Chai Spice at 1%. This is pretty strong. See, I've got a bunch of it here. Um, don't. I've only used it maybe two or three times and uh, didn't like... Uh, didn't like what I got out of it before. Mmm, just... Smells like a like a spiced uh, spiced tea. Well, it is chai spice, but it's mm, it's nice. It's got that like lemony tea smell with like this spice behind it. Um, Kulada, one percent. Orange by Flavor Art, three percent. Orange has really got to come up there. Um, the chai spice is strong. Something's got to sit up there with it. Honeysuckle, one point five. There's just those little. Um, subtle notes in the background and then we got some oba oba um when i tasted these i put each one of them on the back of my hand and i was making a bunch of different mixes um a couple of days ago and uh i don't know what it was i just i just thought i'm gonna try some oba oba and i put it on my hand and i was like yeah i had those other tastes in my mouth and i was like yeah i'm gonna do it and this is kind of like an ice cream soda kind of thing is what it reminds me of 
and it, it goes very well with it but it's not it doesn't add a cream to it so it's still all very fresh it doesn't feel it doesn't give you that heaviness of a cream so it's uh yeah you don't have to worry about that it's not as if i'm adding a custard to try spice or that although who knows maybe that'll work so that's the percentages i think i'll put i think even though i don't want to edit nothing i'm going to put it right here okay if it hasn't already popped up there who knows where I, when i edit it it might be there now it might be there in a minute it might have been five minutes previous but um it's going to go up there next to me <coughs> okay let's get the scales on this table's a little bit unlevel right in one place there uh okay oh i just thought i've got to do a batch because i'm doing 30 mil not 10. so batches i've already put it in the premium category Hang on. Oh, oh dumbass. I think I've got to do make a batch from where it is. Yes, there. I had it there to begin with. Still got to get used to this app. It's still fairly new to me. Okay, and it notify me when steeped. So let's give it. Um, let's give it a week. It says not set. Well, okay. Well, let's set the damn thing then. There. Um, seven days. Okay, and it gave me a little warning after seven days that the and it should come up with that saying it's steeped. <coughs> I think seven days is fine. Um, it should help everything come together. I was thinking about maybe putting a bit of vape wizard in with this, but from what I t tried from. Well, that was a week. That was seven days ago. Yeah, I don't think it really needs it. Anyway, I'm chatting on again. We haven't done a bit of mixing. It's been seven minutes. I keep looking at it myself because when I watch my videos back, I'm like, holy shit, you haven't done nothing yet. <coughs> okay, 34.43 grams. And if it's your first time here watching me, I always put the VG in first. Um, nothing to do without mixes because if, if I wanted it to mix better I'd put the flavours in first and then when I top the VG up it's kind of mixed in there a little bit but if I put the VG in first and then this I knock this table with my knee while I'm getting a flavour the VG doesn't fall the bottle don't fall over because it's uh, bottom heavy it's already weighted down that's the reason I do it and it has saved me a couple of times from having uh, crap everywhere and what I don't like <laughs> you know, let's just, just tell you one of my pet peeves what I don't like is when someone says you, you should put them in first or you're supposed to put them in first it's like it's like go suck a dick you know I'm sorry but what do you mean I should so I, I or I must or I have to it's like I'll put it in what fucking order I want to put it in I can understand if there was some like weird way that it, it uh, reacted to each other if it fizzed up or something like that i can understand all that but it doesn't and i'm going to mix it afterwards so uh yeah i i tend to put them in put them in after <coughs> and if you disagree with me i already told you what you can do you can go suck one right that's the mood i'm in the night oh come on tear thank you i was on that little bit of table again all right, chai spice, 0.31. Oh, and that's a tough bottle. So I would have loved to have had the little camera on here for you. I look at the little camera and it's like, <sighs> yeah, it's okay having it there and it kind of gives you a close-up and everything, but that's about all it does. I guess it's still cool to have it, but I'm just going to miss it out of this one. Uh, culada and this is not in there to give it like a menthol or anything like it doesn't do that at all what it does it just gives it a nice fresh with a choice spice and everything else you want it like cold and fresh and this does it i don't know how the hell i got this how i come about thinking about it i was sat here one night putting f some mixes together and i had two empty bottles over there and I was like, I'm going to use those empty bottles. And I just sat here like this, and I was looking across all my flavors. 
And I was like, let's go and have a look what I got in the oddball pile. So I went over there and found chai spice and I was like, let's work around this. So I went and pulled it over and then I started pulling out other little things. I ended up with uh, three different things from the oddball pile. <clears throat> Put that back over here. I did get some more of these today. The, the uh, store I went to though, um, only had this size which is great for my 30 mil bottles which I'm going to put in there in a minute but I need to get one which has got um, the 16 in it like I've got there so I want to get about three or four of them for steeping liquids so I can sit them in the drawer and actually have them in there right now I pull the drawer out and they kind of fall over sometimes I've got a bunch sat here in a box and all sorts of stuff they're steeping everywhere um, <coughs> okay orange this is the big one. This is uh, 0.93, and I do like this orange. This is a newer, newest orange for me. It's because all I ever had was tangerine, so um, I wanted to make sure I had two oranges. So when I did come to tr get one, I could pick which one I wanted from them, depending on uh, how the flavour come across. But this one is very nice. Mm smells good yeah you, that smell you get when you pull the peel off an orange and you've got it near you like that and you pull the peel back and you've got the white the the white um what do you call it like a skin on on top of the fruit itself as soon as you pull that back it's that smell you get straight away yeah between the peel and the orange it's a great smell I think that's where it goes. Fruits. Yep. <clears throat> okay, we've got honeysuckle. 0.47. Another hard bullet bottle to press. I think the harder ones are my older flavors, actually, the ones I've had longer. I wonder if I took the wrapper off it properly. No, it's still got half the wrapper on. That's why. The wrapper is actually reinforcing the bottle. <laughs> All I've done was took the wrapper off the neck. I've done that with a lot of them when I first got... Actually, look, and it's still got the wrapper on the neck. So All I've done was cut around the neck with a knife. Just can't wait when I get new flavours. I've just got, 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 just got to get them. just got to open them up and smell them. Come on. God, why isn't it tearing out? Come on, so sensitive. Mm, that's a lovely smell. All right, and we want 0.62 grams of this. We'll uh, we'll mix this up, and now we'll stick a label on it, and I will reset the cameras, and we'll come back, and I'll have all the ingredients ready for the next one. Um, we need some poison. And I thought I put nicotine into this. Oh no, I put nicotine into the last one. Yeah, it's got zero nicotine in this, so uh, I, I'll be looking at 3%, so it'll be the same as the orange. So it's 0.93. Not really enough, I need to even shake. Let's tear that out. Nine six. Got just enough, I think, to do the next one. Okay, Let's go mixer. Oh, got a bit of something just come out of the neck. Hope that's not nicotine. There's one reason why I probably should do it the other way around when using this thing, put them, certainly put the nicotine in first. You know what, I might do that on the next one. No, I'll put the flavours and the nicotine in first, eh? Why don't I just change up what I'm doing? You know what'll happen, I'll probably, I'll probably hit the table and spill everything. <laughs> okay, that's good enough.
And if you're watching for the first time or you're a new subscriber, that this mixer I'm using is a Norpro five-piece mixer. Go to Amazon and put in Norpro. N-O-R-P-R-O. -R -R and it come up with, it'd be about six dollars or something like that. If you've got Amazon Prime, it comes free shipping and everything. So it's a, yeah, it's a no-brainer, get it. Wow. Wow, that smells so good. This is like a, this would be a real good summer vape. It's one of those things where you just want to sit out on the porch with a cold beer. Do you know what, that's what it'd go well with. Just sitting out on the porch with a cold beer in the summer. Watching the neighbours go by and watch the sun go down and vape. Orange spice. Oh, better make a label. And this is the uh, this is the Dymo Letra tag. I got this from Walmart just a few days ago. Um, fourteen fourteen and a half dollars. It was on rollback. Um, you can find them on Amazon. They're like twenty one there. But going to Walmart, they're normally like seventeen ninety nine or something like that. It's like fourteen eighty or something like that. It was now. So uh, yeah, go in and grab one. Great. They come with a roll of uh, labels, and I bought two more as well. Uh, let's see what we're looking at. Orange spice. I know one thing. I need a drink. I've got the drink near me. And I need some of it. Okay, and we're at three milligrams of nicotine, and we are done. Let's print that baby. And I've got a box here of juices that didn't make the cut. Rather than have them sitting around and like I normally do, thinking, oh, well, maybe I'll go back and vape it and do shit like that, I'm throwing them away, just getting rid of them. Go, going to throw them out, pour them down the sink. Some of them, some, they're not bad. There's nothing nasty about any of them. It's just that I won't vape them. Um, and they're, they're fairly good mixes, and it might be where, I mean, some of them are in the mix archive. You know, and I've left them in there because they're fairly good mixes. They're just not for me. Um, I try and mix everything. I'm not a huge cake person. I have hundreds of cakes. Um, I did make a fruit cake, which made it into my premium selection. So I, I hit the nail. I hit the nail on the head right there. But um, most of the time, I'm not really a huge cake fan. But I try and mix everything. Go right across the board. Something I did see. I was watching DIY or Die about. Well, about 30 minutes ago, that's what got me up and made me mix. Um, he had a white chocolate peppermint from, uh, oh, is it like the E-Juice Barn or whatever it's called, where he gets his nicotine from. Um, yeah, got it, and he got it as a pre, as already mixed, and he just um, put the concentrate in, put the VG in, shook it up, and vaped it. He said it was very good. And I thought, yeah, white chocolate peppermint, that would be, uh, that sounds great. not going to do that one right now but maybe at some time there was no recipe for it or anything so uh okay i'm going to restart the camera when you come back i'll have all the other flavors out and i'll have the uh i'll have the uh recipe up and ready to go i'll see you in a minute all right folks we're back I've got all the ingredients out got the recipe up in front of me and first of all i'm just going to talk you through what my thinking is here and this could just go completely tits up on me but i think i know what i'm doing i think uh so where do i start okay so the the stars are going to be the uh the ice cream and the cheesecake um obviously we need strawberry but strawberry is not the star the it's, it's an ice cream so i think it's an ice cream first then it's a cheesecake then it's a fruit so the way i've gone around this is i've started off with vanilla bean ice cream let me put these in percentages i've gone vanilla bean ice cream by tfa i've gone i've not gone with the capella one which is really creamy i think it's got a lot more weight to it but um i've got other things to put weight in there so i don't want to go too mad and bring the 
bring the strawberries down if if that gets what i mean it kind of sounds like i really know what the fuck i'm doing here but this is this is kind of uh this is how i thought about it so i'm using vanilla bean ice cream by tfa at four percent the next thing i have is vanilla swirl which i used just a couple of times recently and i'm really impressed with it i really like it um yeah it just smells smells like ice cream so i'm going to put that in with it just to give again it's not real heavy um just to give it that um that ice cream taste and then we got some vienna cream another cream that's not real heavy i don't know if it's supposed to be this color this is a new one as well i threw the other one away it smells just fine it's still got that chemically smell to it which i hate about vienna cream but it tends to work it'll work very well with this i could use fresh cream or um or whipped cream but vienna cream's a little bit more on the ice cream side um cheesecake graham crust well here's our cheesecake um so i was putting the vienna cream in there at two percent and that is right at the maximum where i'll put it um normally i'm one percent with that stuff but um i want to make sure that ice cream's taken care of um next thing is cheesecake graham crust i'm putting that in at three percent not a whole bunch not enough to catch up with the ice cream but i think just the uh the cheesiness the, the cheesecakeness of it, it, it just come out a little bit and i've got something else in there to help it i'll uh, actually skip forward to that one i'm putting creamy yogurt in there by capella i don't find it sour at all try it again no it's not sour like a yogurt it is kind of reminds me of a topping that i put on my cheesecake um when i make one which is sour cream uh okay so that's that taken care of the cheesecake graham crust the cheesecake in that one is nice the graham crust is really non-existent um so i could have gone with graham cracker pie crust biscuit instead i went with sugar cookie i just thought let's keep something sweet in there with the ice cream so i'm not going to sweeten this at all um the fruits I'm using and these creams should should have the sweetness I need and to make sure of that I put marshmallow in there <clears throat> I normally go with um, flavor arts marshmallow you know I love the stuff it's in like tons of my mixes this time I'm going with flavor west and the reason why take the lid off and it reminds me of ice cream so it's going in there um, again just a small amount really for that sweetness and just to kind of um, feel uh, when I, s I always say like feel the mix I never really know what I mean by that but I know what it does um, what I want it for I don't know if it would do as good a job as it will with the uh, flavor art one but I hope it does now for the fruits right up front favorite one TFA ripe strawberry um, that one is going in at five percent so quite a lot with it, I'm putting Capella's Sweet Strawberry at 3%. I, I've yet to really be impressed by this one. Um, I've seen many recipes online where it's normally mixed with another strawberry. And it goes, it's supposed to go very well with strawberry ripe. And I didn't want to have strawberry ripe up there at 8-9%. So uh, this one will help just, uh, just go there with that. Then I added Sweet Raspberry to it. Um, the reason being there those are those strawberries are very sweet and there's not a punch or anything to tell you there's a fruit in there um i tend to lose it in my all-day vape sometimes i'll pick it up first thing in the morning and i taste the strawberry and i'm like oh yeah that's really good the rest of the day i don't really get that strawberry it's kind of lost in there a little bit but it's still you know my all-day vape i love it but uh i think this may just um may just give it that kick that it needs so all right well i've wasted six minutes telling you um all the shit that went on in my head while i was putting this together and i put it together about uh, 10 15 minutes ago so uh yeah i and what brought it out brought it, what it brought it to me was um i was going around youtube looking at different um other people's uh vaping channels and when i looked at their video list and i go down through them and just look at what they've got on there and stuff like that different content i see the strawberry cheesecake in there every time and it got like thousands of views so it's popular but i don't just want to put a strawberry cheesecake up and say oh here you go this video is not going to be called strawberry cheesecake um it's going to be called orange spice or something about that orange spice e-juice recipe um <clears throat> 
this is a trial um, mix it by all means um, I'll put the recipe right here above my shoulder well, it's probably going to cut me down the side of my face and be right there um, but I'll put the, the recipe will be there showing and where was I going with this and I th you can follow it by all means but this is going to be a work in progress I'm probably going to vape it and say oh shit I went too much with the fruit or crap I don't get the cheesecake in it and I do have other cheesecakes to put in as well if I really wanted to but I think I'm just going to you know I'm not, I'm not just going to keep on going crazy with it I've started off with my ice cream I've gone there with my cheesecake and now I've got to battle the fruit in between you know to get it in there to have a taste so it's I've kind of layered it in I wouldn't call myself a mixer that's great at layering but that's where I've gone with this I've actually started off at a base and worked my way up so I guess I do layer in a sense but I'm not going to do a whole video on it because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about when it comes to that so but this is this is the way I think about it <coughs> right or wrong that's how I come up with this so uh, another 30 mil bottle I'm quite um, confident that this is going to be a good one I haven't mixed a cheesecake for a while Although I've put cheesecake in something the other day and I can't remember what it was. Vanilla bean ice cream. Vanilla bean ice cream, there we go. You know what I'm gonna, let me just. Oh no, he's perfect. I was gonna say, he's, I've had this one for a very long time, but he's in a nice dark bottle and he's, uh, he smells perfect because I've got a brand new bottle of it. I'm gonna, I know I'm going to be using a lot of this stuff because I'm going to be making some more, um, oh, what you call it? Unicorn milk. And vanilla bean ice cream is a big one in that. Do you know what? It'd be good if I knew what weight I was doing. There's me putting drops in. Right, 124. I was following the percentage then. And I am going to put the flavorings in first, like I said I was going to. Let's see what there's not much difference either way but then seeing i'm using a throffer maybe that is the reason i should go the other way so that the the heavier liquids at the top and doesn't come out the top of the bottle and the lighter liquids are on the bottom there we go i found a reason so you don't even have to come in and comment on one <laughs> um vanilla bean ice cream goes in with the creams and it should be right there what else is that? Vanilla custard by TFA. That's a new one for me as well. Don't even I don't think I've even used that yet. Um okay, let's tear that out. Next one on the list is vanilla swirl. 0.47. Another one I could have used with this was the TFA's uh, dairy milk really like that stuff I'm glad uh, David sent it to me because I've been wanting it for a while and I see it in so many different recipes and now I understand why it is a great thick creamy milk without being a kiss as close as to a custard as I can get without it being a custard and I love the thick creams but I'm not a huge fan of those thick dense custards um, like Capella's version one custard it's got to get that one right you've got to nail it for me anyway for me to enjoy it it's got to be bang on <coughs> maybe that's the problem i'm not hitting it bang on uh vienna cream 0.62 come on this table's not flat jeez it keeps going back and forth back and forth Right, 0.62. It's only going back and forth like 0.2, so it's not going. It's not as if it's a whole bunch, but the scales are not really settling themselves out. Oh, oh yeah, it is 0.62. God, I looked over and I seen 0.62, and then I followed it across, and it was sugar cookie. I was like, oh shit, I've done the wrong thing. But this one was 0.62 as well. Okay, Vienna cream needs to go in the creams. Um, up there. Uh, next one after Vienna cream is cheesecake graham crust. I 
I think it's kind of cool to have a video like this one anyway. You see me mixing a lot on here. Oh God, I've just added this right on top, haven't I? I'm gonna have to do some math work here now. Hold on, it's me chatting. Um, 0.62 and 0.93 is 0.55. Sorry, 1.55. Rules away around it. Go. 0.55 cheesecake graham crust will go right there. Yep, there's I got a flavor west cheesecake. I knew I had another one. Uh but yeah, I thought I think it's kind of a cool video just to let you know what like, a lot of the time I talk about why I've done it and stuff like that, but not normally this in depth. And with a mix with 10 flavors in and never mixed it before, this is something I normally do off camera. When I'm just messing around afterwards and think, oh yeah, let's try this, try this. But uh, I really think this is going to work. That's why I'm going to put it up front and uh, hopefully uh, I won't look like a dickhead afterwards in, in uh, a few days. Because I will try it after just a few days to make sure it's going the way it should. And then uh, then leave it steeping for the full two weeks. Because my all day vape, after about three or four days, you get the general idea, but the, um, the dragon fruit is... Uh, there's enough to kick you in the nuts and there's no uh, strawberry at all and the creams haven't developed and um okay went too far with the sugar cookie i'm chatting again that won't hurt Do you know what let me change the recipe gotta ha get this i gotta have it right and i'm not worried about that being a little bit more um sugar cookie is over there oh, talk when i'm not dripping that's what i should do Okay, um, so I've just done sugar cookie and I've probably done 2.5% by accident. 2.5, okay, okay, batch, 30 mil. Okay, there we go. Um, <clears throat> sugar cookie <laughs> look at that now it says point what point seven eight grams and that's exactly what i got on there now i feel uh now i feel better about myself uh sugar cookie strawberry ripe easy enough to give this one a good shake it's getting low in here i tried to get a 120 mil thing of it and i couldn't get it all right, so was um, e -Cig Express when I just put that order in for my nicotine. They were out of it in the bigger bottles. Um, so I bought two small ones from Bull City. Um, so I've got 60 mil there. All right, this I need 155. very quiet because I was listening downstairs my daughter's just going to bed I want to go down and say good night to her in a minute uh, creamy yogurt by no actually sweet strawberry by Capella 0.93 this stuff smells the business I know that but it's just I don't know for me so far I haven't worked and I may have overpowered it with other stuff Been going a bit crazy on some of these flavors recently. Not that it ever worries me how much I put in there. It just um, I put in what I feel it needs. But kind of look back on a few of them and thought, wow, I did go a bit strong on that one. I may have uh, overpowered this strawberry a couple of times. Although when I did mix it just on its own, it didn't taste very strong. That's my first thoughts on it. Um, Capella creamy yogurt. <laughs> Six two. I'm looking. 
looking forward to editing this video it's going to be real quick and easy the last one was as well I didn't have that little camera in there putting that little camera in is a bastard just doubles the time of editing because I've got to search through it all cut it and uh, pain in the ass uh, creamy yogurt creams there that goes there uh, marshmallow If I remember when I'm doing editing this video, I'll try and put the recipe up again, like right now or just after, towards the end of this. Um, not that I really want you to follow it, but you can see what I've done in it. And go ahead and mix it by all means. You'll find out what it tastes like about the same time as I do. Uh, but uh, don't expect it to be um, the be all and end all of, uh, of DIYing. <coughs> just a it's just a trial I'm starting to say it put that disclaimer on it at the moment nobody's ever said anything about it nobody said oh god you, you know these four or five I got you just like everyone seems excited to be mixing my stuff and you know and I see it on the Facebook page and in the comments on YouTube you know oh, I mixed this today Chris can't wait till it steeps and I kind of sit there and think yeah I can't wait till it steeps either because I haven't tried it yet <laughs> you know and you guys know that I'm mixing this for the first time on here so uh I make mistakes at least with this it's not something that can go horribly wrong you know it's that that um, orange spice could have gone nasty wrong where it was it could have just been completely unvaporable this um, I could probably pull it back by putting a lot of strawberry in it or putting a blueberry in with it or doing something um, if I if I lose that uh, fruit in it you know, if I go too heavy with the creams, or if I go too heavy with the fruit, I can come up with the creams a bit. Or tip the 30 mil bottle into a 60 and dilute it down, and then build again, you know. Um, like, like these here, I've got strawberry cake, it needed cream with it. I've got strawberry cream, probably needed a bit of cake with it. <laughs> um, it. It actually needs a bit of sweetener or something. Um, and then I've got DM strawberry. Um, dairy milk let's put my uh, poison in right now oh yeah it's just about eight probably get a 10 mil bottle out of it but that's it um, all right, let's put some VG in there. VG should be 26.69. All right, the camera cut off again. <laughs> Jeez, it does every time. That's why I keep looking down to see where I am with 20, you know, 20 minutes is what I got on the camera. Um, it's a real expensive camera, it's a steel camera. Um, it's a D Nikon D800, it takes great video, but because it's a steel camera you can't keep the sensor on too long because it overheats so that's why it turns itself off after 20 minutes a safety feature but uh if you folks bring some more people in here and i get some uh more subscribers and more views i'll buy myself a damn camera i'm sure i will <laughs> i think i will anyway if i'm doing this on the scale i'm doing it right now i'm probably going to need to get myself a camera so i can do this continuously because you know i don't like to edit but right now i'm putting three chunks of video together and i'd rather just drag one in there go through it real quick and check it put this audio to it and, and be done that would be nice put that on properly i tell you what it smells incredible it really does i hope this is i hope this is what i think it is Okay, this one's got a long name. Uh, strawberry. Strawberry cheesecake. Cheesecake ice cream.
okay and we put a line break in oh, stick the date in there and it's three milligrams of nicotine okay and print this will be a longer one good thing is with this printer it doesn't take ink it's um I believe it like burns into the paper or does something like I don't know it, it does something it doesn't use ink though it just needs battery power yeah that's a label so as long as you've got fresh batteries in there so if you have one of these and, and this is something I read on Amazon so you know it's not something I know out of experience because I've only had the thing not even a week yet um, but if you what well, I read on Amazon some guy was having trouble with um, with the labels coming out um, really really weak which looked like weak, you know ink running out but he said it's um it's the batteries he said it is still it's still print and it's still got the wind out just fine but as soon as you see that start to go a little bit um you need new batteries in there cheesecake ice cream strawberry cheesecake ice cream looking forward to this one big time mm. smells good all right well if i get that one right then i've just gone on one step i think in my own personal evolution here um been doing a lot of mixing a lot of tasting and getting used to a lot more of these flavors and getting reacquainted with some of the old ones um yeah this last month i've probably mixed more it, i've probably mixed more in this last four weeks than what i have the whole time this channel has been running so I, i've come on here some nights and mixed 10 flavors not on the camera uh just uh, i've got 30 or 40 in here and not even tasted yet i've still got some over in natural i've still got our um live feed taste tests over in natural i've still got our um lucky dip from lucy over in that drawer so you take that there's several right there um but anyway this um you know what? i need to find those live feed ones as well i need i have to watch the live feed and try and remember what they were i think they're in that drawer anyway i'm gonna say good night um i hope you have a pleasant evening and i'll uh i'll see you real soon it probably will be real soon probably be tomorrow but anyway take care folks